The court proceedings are currently over. The accused have been remanded and they've been taken into police custody. We will speak to some of the uh, legal counsel of the accused persons to take their thoughts on it. What are the case uh, against your client? Well, the, uh, the prosecution, uh, char they've come with three counts. Uh, the first count is uh, an attempted robbery and then the second count is robbery and then uh, the third count is attempted bribery. We gather that the court has uh, denied the application for bail. What do you make of that? Well, the, the, uh, the bail, bail is, is at the discretion of the court. So, uh, in the court's own wisdom, decided to withheld bail, bail no, for now. So, we don't have anything uh, against it. Now, what is the position of your clients in the cases against them? Uh, it's very obvious. They plead not guilty to the, uh, to the, uh, the charges or the offenses. And it is uh, incumbent upon the state to prove their guilt. We don't have to prove anything. Our job is to punch holes in the case of the prosecution to show that there's no case for our client to answer. And that's what we are going to do. And so we'll just wait and uh, follow the motions of the trial. As you speak now, um, what can you tell us about your clients? How are they faring? Well, they're they they in good spirit. They're in good spirit. And... Uh, um, they themselves went to the police. They didn't. They weren't arrested. They went to the police, and the police have the duty to conduct their investigation, and they are doing so. They they uh, they pray in court today to say that their investigation is ongoing, and so we we'll wait for them to see at the next uh, agenda date, which I believe is the uh, the ninth of July, ninth uh, of June. Sorry. Uh, let's see if their investigation are over, and then they will give us their disclosures. We'll see what they have, and then we'll take it from there. So you have about two weeks to prepare to uh, meet in court again. Um, what are you hoping to uh, bring to the table this time around? No, like my colleague just said, they brought us to court. The 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 onus lies on them to prove their case beyond reasonable doubt. I am praying that within that two weeks, they should be able to conclude their investigation. But the facts, the only thing I see. For, uh, for this investigation is, is to send a number to mobile, uh, MTN, uh, MTN mobile now, a number for a disclosure. That can take less than two, 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 two minutes to be verified. So that's all the investigation they're going to do in two weeks. How uh, confident are you of this case? Well, if I'm not confident, I'll be talking to you. <laughs> uh, I'm a lawyer. My job is to make sure that I, pre uh, I represent my clients the best of my ability uh, and to uphold the uh, justice uh, in this country and I think we have one of the best justice systems in Ghana. I mean a lot of people will talk but the Ghana justice system is good. If you know what you're doing and you're before the judge and you have your facts, you're in your law supporting you, then you have every confidence. I have every confidence and I'm just waiting. I want them to make sure that they are ready for trial. We don't want them to come to court and they keep asking for dates, tomorrow, adjournment, whatnot. We are ready. I hope they are ready too. Thank you very much. You heard the uh, lawyers of the accused uh, five officers in this case. Um, we'll bring you more and you're watching the City Newsroom. Please stay with us.